Welcome to the greatest art auction of them all. And uh, this fantastic painting by a mysterious artist is up for auction. Going once, going twice, blah, 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 one million, blah, 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 two billion, blah, 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 one killion, blah, 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 souls. Wow, this mysterious artist, whoever they are, just made a lot of money, a lot of money, and they must be a lucky human, human person being. Welcome to Art Splained, the show where I explain art. My name is Michelle, and this artwork is fucking expensive. Known as New Cochet? What is this, French? This painting by Amadeo Medigliani has broken the record for the highest estimate for any work of art at auction ever, priced at $150 million. The previous record was held by Pablo Picasso's Les Femmes d'Algerre version O, which had an estimate of $140 million. There are other artworks that have sold much higher. Leonardo da Vinci's Salvatore Mundi sold for $450 million in 2017. Another seated nude of his made in the same 1917 to 1918 series sold at Christie's in 2015 for $170.4 million. So what are people saying about this painting? Simon Shaw of Sotheby's Impressionist and Modern Art Department described it as one of the finest paintings by any artist remaining in private hands. Art dealer David Nash told Artnet, I think it's probably one of the best reclining nudes that Modigliani made. But what makes this particular piece so special? Well, when it was first exhibited, the public found it so shocking that the exhibition closed within hours of its opening. This happened in Paris in 1917 at Modigliani's first and only solo show, after a police officer was offended by the model's pubic hair. The human body is beautiful, get over it. What else is worth knowing about Medigliani's painting? At 58 inches across, it is his largest work. This is also the only horizontal nude of his to contain the entire figure within the canvas in the series of nudes he created between 1916 and 1919. Notice the facial expression. She's confident, not shy or embarrassed, and that's important. Nancy Ierson, a curator of Tate Modern's Modigliani retrospective, told CNN in November 2017, these pictures were made during the First World War when more women were working, more women were living independently. There really was a social anxiety about that. But who was Modigliani? He was an Italian-born Jewish artist who was known as a painter, but was also a drawer and sculptor. Few of his signature works found buyers in Modigliani's lifetime, though most are now in permanent collections or museums like the Guggenheim and MoMA. According to Sotheby's, his aesthetic was gleaned from the artistic precedents of Italian Renaissance and Mannerist painting, the linear simplicity of African carvings, and the earth-toned palette and geometric modeling of Cubism. He's also known for saying, I want to live a short and intense life, which ended up happening when he died at the age of 35 due to tubercular meningitis. This painting by Modigliani last sold at a Christie's auction in 2003 for $26.9 million to Irish venture capitalist and owner of Colmore Stud Farms, John Magnier. Before this, it was owned by Las Vegas casino owner, Steve Wynn. The Sotheby's auction will be held on May 14th. The subject of what good art should actually be worth is always controversial. Sometimes, people who have too much money and don't know what to spend it on overpay for works that may not be substantial. Regardless of quality, if a painting sells for this much, it's hard to deny that it has some cultural significance. Even if some of the value isn't directly related to what you see, but is more related to the artist's background or the historical background. So, uh, these paintings are selling for a lot, so I was wondering if any of you would want to pay for one of my paintings. I was thinking we could start off at a million and then go from there. That seems like a real good deal. A real steal. A real steely deal. Subscribe and like. We'll be back next week.